All right, we are back with a series that's been away for a while, mainly because I finished it, but turns out they released more chapters. So this is the Xanadu Quantum Codebook, which we did every single code exercise in, 100% completion. I even made a video reviewing the codebook. So really, I mean, this has just been a content farm for me, but, but anyway, um, then they decided to go ahead and release two new sections, not whole like sections like they did um, with the uh, F and S or whatever, but um, just subsections. So we did through H7, so now we'll do H8. I have not done anything with or related to Penny Lane since the submission of our last um, a video which was something like more than two months ago i mean my last video period was like a month ago so yeah i've been taking a break from that but um so this for some reason i have it in my mind that this is going to go really smoothly i'll be in and out in 10 minutes but i, I really hope this isn't one of those hour-long struggle struggle sessions um But I'm concerned because I really do not know a lot about um, comparing methods. Yeah, this is this is pretty complicated. Let's hope I'm I'm able to just uh, get it out though. Ah, let me put my jacket down. Okay. Complete the code for fodder X and Z. Okay, I don't remember how to do okay I, I actually might need to go back <laughs> let me actually just go back and uh, let me see so I haven't I haven't looked at this at all oh so annoying that there's ads I'm gonna go back and look at myself doing the previous uh let me do h5 why is this not loading what okay yeah so let me go down to h5 h1 to 4 h5 here we go because i do not remember uh, approximating unitaries let's see or approximating exponentials oh right right i remember now okay so we do what is the time though? Where is time come in? Let me look up here. Is time just a multiplying factor? Yeah, I think it is. So we do four, pi, and range. And this is the number we do. UML dot all we wrote. Is there really no RZ makes sense to me? P times alpha. Wires. I think there's only one wire, right? Yeah. Okay, we do. What are the odds this is correct? First try. T is not out. E is I. There we go. I don't feel like changing it to be time. So that's cool. Um, let's see, is this all recording correctly? Let me just check that. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, <clears throat> not quite correct. Let's see, E to the a plus B equals O. Oh, okay, this should be T over N, is that correct? 
Let's see about this. No. Let's go. Oh, of course it's not right through the beta. Not a, not doing the same thing here. It should be beta on that one. Okay, still not correct, but it's a lot better. Error. Um, now maybe it should be over N. Okay, it's not right then. Let's see. Um, Trotter X and Z. Let me see, what are the odds that they did this just reversed? Okay, I don't, I really have not done enough with, um, Trotterization, so I'm just looking at what I did last time. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Negative two. Oh, can this be negative? Okay, let's see. What do we have here? We had H five. Let's take a peek. Why, why, why would I possibly, okay. Okay, that doesn't have it. Okay, what am I doing? I need, maybe I just need to think about it. So we have our Hamiltonian, e to the a plus b equals e to the a. Is it two times, am I? I have five factor of two. I always forget um, when doing these exponentials by hand. What the, uh, okay, yeah, let me look up. Uh, let me look at how to do this in pain like exponentiation and quantum operators. Operator functions. Exponent, okay, this is not helpful. Um, So you know what, because it says negative Hamiltonian. Oh my gosh, I actually need to go to this one paper I always look at. This is what I wanted. Um, this always has useful yeah, so here you can see that e to the negative, this this is like what I always look at for when I want the right exponentiation. Okay, so we have Hamiltonian equals az plus bx. We have e to the negative 2j, I wonder. Okay, um, 
let's see. So we have Hmm. This is very, I, I would have sworn it would be, uh, number of steps. Yeah. Okay. So we have Z. So we have the Z, which is the exponential of this over n. Let's see, Let's see. So if we have, if we want this to equal this, then we have to have. Um, Data to equal two alpha times i. Okay. Maybe we just do that then. Okay, that's not okay. I'm actually just gonna see this is where it's like. Here's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go over. And I'm gonna open up TensorFlow Quantum, because I know how to do this over there. Like, I, I don't know why the, the this exponential isn't working. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over and say, here we go. I'm going to say, so here's how you do this, by the way, in TensorFlow Quantum, which is much easier. Um, let's add, all right. All right, let's add this. We can say doing this in Python. We'll import TensorFlow one as to two. Import circ. Import simpy, and then we are good to go. So we want our little circuit. So we have our Q bit to equal circ grid Q bit zero zero. So a little qubit, our Hamiltonian is a Hamiltonian plus circ dot polysum. Hamiltonian plus circ dot x. Let's see. We have we want to do this. Can I? Is this how I do this? Simplify. I have to remember now. Symbol A times Z of zero, zero. Oh, I gotta save this somewhere. I'll just save this to documents test. Repeat this. Now we have X. Now we have B. Then we want print do that. Fill dot exponential exponential. We have Hamiltonian and we have it's a frame repeating here for now. Now we can go over and we can run it. If I go to slash C slash user slash one slash document. Okay, let me just uh, bring this up. Okay, it turns out uh, I had to remember that you can't do um, non-commuting or non-commuting Hamiltonians, but that was an easy fix. Um, if I go back over, you can see exactly what I did. Um, and we get this result. So now let's go over and implement that and what we care about. So we can see that I just chose an example. Oh, yeah, here we go. 
So we have this example now. So we have two, two. Let's just check over n again. Oh, that was right all along. Okay, yeah, so thanks to our handy TFQ work, we were able to get it very quickly. You can see as the number of steps increases, the error decreases. Um, this is recording, right? Yep. All right, how far are we in this? Only 16 minutes, all right, we can do this easy peasy. Implement a second order. Okay, let me just copy my code. So now we have second order where we do the rotation A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A. Then we also have over two. There we go, easy peasy. First order, second order. Um, let's see. Finish the code to implement an order 2K. Okay, so we have let's see. So we have two K here. So if we want to get the first one where K equals one, we already have that where we have the this middle one. Yeah, so this is the base step. So now if we want to do four, um, where k equals two, we have um, we have this one, which has already been done, right? So then we have our next one, which is U of so that's U of um, T. Now we say I equals one minus for s one minus four s where s four is s where s equals s equals one divided by four minus four 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 will be um, one over two to the k minus one, one over two to k, sorry, two k times k minus one. All right. And then we also do, oh, I see. We actually do the same thing. So we have s times t. So we have time equals s times t equals s times time t t which is t and t then we repeat this process and then we have 
one minus four. Let's see, we have, geez, let me check this is recording. Yep. We have one minus four times S times S times time. And then we repeat with this first one. It's a lot of rotations. Yeah, so this is what happens. Okay, so that's correct. Let's see, what am I doing wrong? S equals one over four minus four to the one over two times K minus one. We do u, oh, that's why we need u squared. Okay, so we have to repeat this process twice. The middle one is not squared. I'm just missing, I just read the equation incorrectly. Actually, I don't think we need to do them twice. I think we can just do uh, because there are two an exponent. God. Oh, why? Why is this wrong? Let's look at the hint. Try using recursion. Oh. Oh my god. Is it supposed to be we act each operator is actually that I thought that this was being applied. Oh, okay. I think I know what the problem is. The problem is that at every step, this is the operator. Um, okay, no, I still think I'm right. I don't know what's going on. But I guess what we do is we just say, I guess we can just do recursion. So we have our S here. So we want to say, first we want to do U of alpha, beta, time, N, A minus one. Squared. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Oh, it's S times T, X times T. We have U of alpha, beta, one minus four times S times A minus one. And then we have U of alpha, beta, X times 
Let's see if this is right. No, it's not right. Okay, so let's try to write that. See if that fixes the problem. No, it does not. So now let's let's just do it without that and see what happens. Now let's do two of them. Oh, okay. Okay, I did, I did get it right. Oh wow, this is a long one. There's like four code exercises here. I'm still shooting for sub 30, so let's get this one done. Finish the function below to determine the number of gates needed and needed to achieve a given accuracy epsilon in the order 2k trotterized time evolution. Note that. I wonder what happens if I just steadily increase this. Okay, where does it say how to do this? Hmm. Let's see, wow, true. P equals Water K error X X and Z alpha beta time and and equals one. Hit P SN equal to error break else. We don't even need the else in equals equals one. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to modify this. Oh, okay, I'm not even reading what I'm doing. This is so slow to execute. Oh my god, three out of nine. I'm gonna be here all day. Also, what is going on? I changed one thing. Oh yeah, that's because it exponentially increases the number of gates. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to reload the page. If that actually, if reloading the page cancels all my progress, I'm not doing this. I'm calling it. Okay, it did not ruin all of my progress. Okay, let me figure out what I'm actually supposed to be doing. What, 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 what is my correct answer? Finish the function below.
Submitting produces a plot of the number of steps. It's a function of order k. Oh, so that's n. So that's k. Okay, this is k. This is n. And what I want to say is, what is the optimal order and how many gates are necessary to achieve it? Three looks pretty optimal to me. Oh, four, maybe. Trotter circuit uses four. Okay, I will do four. Okay, it still looks like three is the optimal. Okay, I get it. That's not really super clear. Oh my god, we're still less than halfway done. So, so long. Oh my god. All right, let's see, what do I do here? Oh my God. We can point the function below to generate a list of positive coefficients and unitaries. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? You're the trunk. Oh my god. Why? Okay, I see what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, why? Why are they making me type this out though? So we have. We have fact of two. Why is it even k when it's k? It's, it was j. It's j right here. That's so. That's so annoying. Why? Why is it not j? Two times k. Top part is t. So we have time and times numpy dot square root of alpha squared plus beta squared alpha squared plus beta squared all of that to the two k. Okay. And then we have the same thing. But instead we have two to two J two times K two times K plus one and over here, two times k plus one. And then we do that i times negative one two k plus one is one two k times v no, times negative j times where j is the one J times V invalid syntax string line twenty two. Where did I put my string? Oh, oopsies. 
I, what what is going on? Why is why is it doing that? Okay. Oh, did I forget like a parenthesis somewhere? Oh my! Why is there no parenthesis checking? It's so easy to have a linter. I wonder if I just need. I don't think I need more, but I will add more. What, like, is this showing up? Yeah, this is so weird. Why is it doing that? What? <laughs> Where's there a string? Oh, did I leave out the... Time. It is a float times numpy dot square root of alpha squared beta squared both floats. How is this wrong? <laughs> what is the invalid syntax? Okay, let's just check. Okay. Now let's see. So something jank is going on right here. Oh, it's just because I forgot. Oh my gosh. So easy to check if they just put a linter in here. Also, why did they just make me type all this out? That's just so much. Okay, whatever. Red is, I don't remember how to do this, but okay. Does it give me the prepare oracle? Okay, let's see. Okay. Matrix unitary. I don't remember how to do this. Qubit unitary. Okay. Let's see, I should check what the. Okay. QML dot qubit unitary. Uh, the unitary is pre air matrix code heat list wires equal. Which is zero, or I guess let's assume that zero QML qubit unitary select select U list wires main, I guess. Oh, oopsies, misspelled it. I don't, okay, well, no, I have aux. Okay, I am, I am just blind. That's my bad. Oh, right, I need to do uh, email dot add join. And then I think I do wires box invalid syntax. I please do <laughs> it's so annoying I don't have any output 
Oh, I see. So we want to do this on. I see. Maybe this is a problem. Once again, don't know what's going on there. Qubits. Red box is prepare. In this example, the main register contains one qubit to obtain. And then yeah, so it normalizes for us. I have no idea how big this thing is because it, it should be on all of them, right? But it's not. So let's just try different things until it works because there's no debugging whatsoever in this thing. So annoying. Must be of shape 4, 4. Must be of shape 2, 2. So it's not shape 2, 2. It's not shape of 4, 4. It's not shape of eight, eight. What, what, I don't know what this, oh, select as it so, okay, well, that's great. I should probably just read the, the thing, shouldn't I? Why is prepare a matrix, but select not a matrix? Oh. These are the things that annoy me. Also, I should just read. Pop from empty, what the hell? I don't even need to do add joint. I can just say pair matrix on P. I assume it's a numpy matrix. Oh my gosh. Diff equals. LCU X Z alpha beta K bits minus alt X Z alpha beta I. Gonna square it so that shouldn't matter. Object of type complex. Object of opacity to be real. Okay, diff times. Oh, maybe I just need to do absolute value. I bet that's it. Also, I think that looks like the exact same, but that's okay. Analytic empirical. Wow, that's pretty good. Manually find. 
okay? Manual, we find values for alpha and epsilon for which LCU outperforms Trotter. Okay, Trotter. The chord parameters for which Trotter is best. Trotter outperforms when alpha is one, B negative six. Alpha is, okay, now let's try 10. Uh oh, uh oh, I made a mistake. That was a mistake. I gotta refresh. Try zero point one. That was also a mistake. What's going on right now? Let's see, it's, is this just glitching out on me or something? Yeah, see, even one takes forever now. Let's try two, or let's try one, very small error. Try two now. There we go, two and zero one. All right, we did it. This one has eight. Wait, hold on, let me just check something. Oh, this, this one says, this content is advanced. Oh boy, advanced. I'm excited. Yeah, so that's it, that's H8. Probably complained a lot more than I had to if I just actually read the instructions, but can I say reading is for chumps? So I did not read the problems and therefore struggled.